Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aries might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. And in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for the month of February 2020. Keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So whenever you might come upon this reading, whether it's right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, then most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Okay, and also if you feel like the reading doesn't quite resonate with you. That's why at the beginning I was saying Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. It's good to know your other planetary placements so you can watch those signs as well to get additional messages. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Aries and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any messages. For Aries. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for mid month, February 2020? Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for mid month, February 2020? <sighs> Spirit, what messages? Do you have for Aries for mid month February 2020? Okay, I'm gonna shuffle one more time, then we'll go ahead and divide this up. Okay, I'm gonna divide this into three stacks. Okay, all right, the card on the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this card is gonna be the overall energy for this read and. <clears throat> As we go through this reading, I will show you how this card is going to relate to the different cards that come up in this reading. Okay, so initially, the King of Pentacles uh, refers to um, like a divine masculine energy, one that is more grounded, focused on security and loyalty and um, you know, just be an, an excellent provider, uh, someone that has your best interests at heart, and you know, it can be like a fatherly type figure, even if it's a lover. This is someone who is like uh, super protective uh, in a fatherly type way, even if they are uh, your partner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay these cards out. Now for those of you who are new here, I lay out four rows. The first row talks about you, uh, what you've been going through, what's going on, uh, things that are about to come to you. Now in the second row um, is the same thing, only it's for your partner, your beloved, uh, your twin flame, soulmate, a counter. Um, a karmic partner, uh, yeah, somebody who's counterintuitive, I guess. Um, this could be an ex that you still feel really drawn to. Um, somebody that maybe you just met, but whoever is the first person you think of in the morning when you wake up, and the last person you're thinking of when you go to bed at night. Now the third column talks about obstacles, challenges, um, things of that sort, uh, fears, anxieties, uh, things that are keeping us just stuck sometimes. And the fourth column is our outcome. Now I've just laid out eight cards, two in each row. Um, I'm going to do this two more times for a total of 24 cards. By the time we get to the end of 24 cards, we generally have like a good little storyline here going on for you. Okay, now in the first column, which represents you, we have the Ace of Swords as well as the Ace of Cups. Wow, okay. So this shows me that no matter what you are, 
no matter what you take on, whether it's a new job, a move, a, a romantic partner, uh, you're going to have a whole lot of success with this. This is going to be something that is allowing you to grow, to prosper, and it's going to, you know, they say when you, um, when you do what you love, you're never working. It's not really work, it's that kind of thing. So if this is relating to work or something, uh, it's gonna be something that you are so good at, that you do better than anyone else, that it overflows into every little aspect of your life. And this could very possibly be where you're going to uh, meet the person that you are supposed to be with if you haven't already met them, okay? Now your partner has judgment as well as the Ten of Cups. So they are someone who has recently um, like resurrected themselves. Look, you see these, these little lovers coming up out of the grave. This is someone who has been through a hard time, but they are still yearning and longing for this Ten of Cups situation. They want that home. They want that happiness. They want, uh, you know, children, laughter, love. They want their home filled with music and art and all types of things that uh, can unify a family and create a wonderful atmosphere in the home. Uh, the, you know, with that judgment card, that shows me that, you know, they've been through some really tough times. Uh, you know, of course, before resurrection, you have to have a death. And so they've had a period of time where they've been dormant as far as expressing their love or uh, between relationships, or it could have even been uh, you with them that you guys may have been separated for a short while. Now in your obstacles and challenges, uh, we have the world as well as the Eight of Wands. So I'm seeing like a lot of really fast energy. Be sure that when you have all these opportunities presented to you, that you think them through. You don't just impulsively <laughs> jump right in and uh, make this uh, <laughs> just... You don't just jump in. You're not going to just randomly uh, just impulsively I guess um, yeah there's no impulse control here uh, you may be inclined to uh, just take on whatever it is and and jump right into it now this world shows me that you have a lot to lose if you do that so you definitely want to uh, take your time now the world talks about all these opportunities that are being presented to you and all the good things that are coming forth with it being in your obstacles and challenges this shows me that this is something that is worrying you you're wanting to make sure that you are you know dotting all your i's and crossing all your t's before you're moving forward then we have the seven of cups as well as the queen of swords okay aries all right, so this is where you might come in a little cold, a little callous. If you are with your partner, and or, no, this I'm feeling this is more this is more for you. Uh, you are you know you're going to have um, the attention of so many people who are seeing you uh, grow. You know, as you have grown into yourself. Um, begin to uh, attract attention of so many different suitors. You kind of have your mind on this one person and you know, you're quick to, um, you're quick to, you know, let it be known that you have no interest in any of these opportunities, um, any of these suitors that are being presented to you. However, you know, beautiful or handsome they might be, your heart is in one place and you know nobody's really going to be able to change your mind as far as that goes now <laughs> hold on. I picked up the wrong tarot deck okay maybe there's something for me there okay all right so in the column representing you I've got four of cups as well as justice in your partners we got temperate as well as the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, guys. Okay. Wow, even more. Okay. In your obstacles and challenges, of course, we have Strength as well as Five of Swords. And the 
outcome, I have an extra card had fallen out. We have the Devil, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Okay. All right. I don't like that, but that's what's there, so we'll read it. All right. So in your column, we have Justice as well as the Four of Cups. So you are reaping the rewards of all of your hard work as far as the work that you've done on yourself as far as the growth that you have presented now so many offers just like when you had the seven of cups none of them are really catching your attention none of them are really anything that you're interested in you see this little guy sitting here and he's got his arms folded and he's like mm, no 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 not what i want you know what you want and you've worked very, very hard for it. You've uh, you've struggled. You've fought your way to the top to get to this point in your life where you are uh, in this position where you can be choosy, where you can take your time and know uh, which path it is you want to take. And your partner, we have temperance as well as Wheel of Fortune, both major arcana. And, you know, when we have the Wheel of Fortune... You know, everything is changing really fast. Uh, you know, your luck is going, luck, luck is, if you've been having bad luck, of course, it's going to change. If you've been having good luck, it's going to change, but it doesn't matter. Even if you've been having good luck and you're changing to bad because good luck is going to come back around again and your partner is feeling, uh, they, they are understanding of this and they are someone who you feel really balanced with and you have that sense of give and take. You have someone who uh, gets it. You have someone who uh, really understands uh, you see that this this angel is holding these two cups here, and it's a reminiscent of the two of cups, which talks about uh, a divine union and uh, someone who you can really connect to and relate with, someone that you, you know, you can have a lot of growth and forward movement in your life coming up. Now, the, the problem is when we get to the obstacles and challenges, we have strength. And like, again, you've really got a lot of major arcana cards coming up in your reading. We have strength as well as five of swords. So you may... <clears throat> be inclined to uh, kind of, you know, like pop off or uh, maybe have a little smart mouth. Uh, when you are Aries, you know, you know, Aries is all about uh, war and Mars and all of these things. So when you are upset, you may tend to, uh, you know, say things you don't mean in order just to uh, <laughs> distract away from what an issue actually is. And you're going to have to, you know, call on this strength that you have. You know, there's a, there's times that you really, really... Um, have to take that bull by the horns or the this lion by the jaws or whatever it is she's doing here and you have to you have to make your own way uh, you have to fight your own way and sometimes you feel as if you have to do whatever it is you have to do in order to that to achieve that so when you are out there about in your everyday life uh, when you come home at night be careful that you don't bring that home and lay that on your partner because uh, your partner this is what they really want. They want this peaceful, loving, happy home. And they feel like you are the partner that can provide them for them. Now, the three cards that fell out were the devil, the ace of wands, as well as the seven of swords. So these kind of cards here, these two I can really see going together. This one a little bit. Uh, just be cautious that this doesn't become a type relationship where you are dependent on the other person's feelings in order to um, feel secure in this relationship. Uh, you have a feeling that, you know, maybe your partner is not as honest as they should be. This could be someone where, you know, you're afraid that they are not always truthful with you. Uh, which may be, you know, if you're if you're out there working or you got your family to take care of and you have all these different things, business meetings, social life, things like that going on, uh, and you're 
you may decide that, uh, you know, your imagination gets the best of you. And you could be thinking that, you know, your partner may be less than honest with you. Uh, Aries, <laughs> okay. And we have these two cards here, the Ace of Wands as well as the Devil. This tells me that there is a lot, a real, really, really lot of uh, sexual attraction. And uh, you can take the easy way out of an argument by having that roll in the hay with your partner. And, you know, you want to... You want to be careful that you don't always use that to smooth over arguments. If you don't want things to turn into uh, codependent situations, you want somebody that gets you, that you can uh, be open and honest with, that you don't have to hide things or hide your feelings with, that you can just talk to them about anything. All right, now we're into the last column, and we have... Uh, the Five of Cups, as well as the Two of Pentacles. Um, partners column is Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. And your obstacles and challenges, we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. All right. And, and your outcome, I always pull four cards here. Okay. Woo. Struggles. All right. All right. Now, Aries, okay, this Two of Pentacles, and we have this Five of Cups. This Two of Pentacles, your partner may be making you feel as if that you are not receiving enough attention. You are uh, feeling sometimes as if you've been abandoned, as if you are not receiving everything that you need. This is gonna make you have a lot of emotion and, and, and be at a point where, I don't wanna say depressed, but this is gonna be worrisome for you. Uh, your, your imagination, or it could be your intuition, is telling you that something just isn't right. That, you know, you see the waters back here are very turbulent. You know, it's, it's causing you quite a bit of distress. You feel as if you are not getting what it is you need from your partner. Now, if your partner is being deceptive and they are hiding and keeping things from you, or, you know, this is caused by, like we were talking about uh, codependent situations, addictions, drugs, alcohol, whatever, that whole little secret life that goes on with those type things. Uh, it's as you, yeah. As you come across um, all these discoveries or things are being presented to you, you can't, yeah, you're just not going to, uh, you're going to feel very sad. You're going to, you're going to come to the discovery like, you know, I've lost something that was really, really important to me. I thought that I had these two cups here. I thought that I had this uh, person that was going to be uh, so good and so balanced for me. Now, your partner, we have the Four of Pentacles as well as the Page of Swords. So they're also going to be like pretty quick to be defensive of themselves. They're going to have an excuse. They're going to say they're busy at work. They're going to say uh, sharp words to you. They're, when they communicate with you and you say, you know, I've been having these feelings or I suspect this or I'm thinking about that, they're going to be really quick to cut you off. They're going to be... Uh, <laughs> You know, like this five of swords here that came up earlier, you know. Yeah, of course, that's what, that's what people do when they are liars. They are very quick to, that they're going to make a thousand excuses and tell you that they're otherwise occupied. Now, the queen of wands as well as the king of cups. Okay. So, this king of pentacles that you have over here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That is the key. That is probably the person, if you know an earth sign, Aries, I'm sorry, uh, if, yeah, if you know an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, <laughs> that most likely is the person that you might want to latch on to. This Queen of Wands right here. All right. 
So this is representing you. And she is like, uh, you know, very lovable, very quick, but she's also very, she's also very strong. Um, has a lot of really hard opinions and things. This King of Cups here, this might not be the best match for you after all. This this Ace of Cups that uh, presented itself at the beginning. Um, yes, we have these spilled cups here. Uh, this water sign, Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. This person uh, seems to be that they have quite a bit that they are not being honest with you. They're kind of like, they're kind of like fickly and, you know, there's just like a, when I do these readings and this information comes into me, it just right now I have this like really icky feeling, okay? Uh, then maybe this is a person that has some type of attachment. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is not good. All right. So we have the moon, the hanged man, the five of wands, and the ten of swords. Okay, well, of course, the Ten of Swords talks about completion. Uh, you're going to have this confrontation with this person, and you're going to feel like, you know, <laughs> when you have these discoveries, when you have considered your intuition, and everything done in the dark comes into the light, just like during this eclipse here, after the shadow has moved past the moon and everything is illuminated again, you're going to be able to see all the things that were going on. Uh -huh. Trust your intuition. Okay. That'll be the title of this one. Uh, so, yeah. If, if something doesn't feel right, then it probably isn't right. You know, sneakiness, manipulation, somebody being a liar. These cards go hand in hand right here. Okay, uh, if you continue to stay, of course, you will be stuck in that situation here. Oh, they're all upside down. Let me turn them back around. And you will be stuck. You don't want to be stuck. You want to be able to move on. You want uh, this this whole little cycle. Uh, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Uh, everybody wants to, uh, you know, find that partner. It's so not worth it to uh, jump into a relationship just to have that Valentine's Day. You have this King of Pentacles who is waiting on you, who is um, watching you, who wants this life with you. Uh, just don't be so quick to jump into uh, a situation just in order to have that romantic Valentine's Day. You know, there's a million different things you can do. You can have movie night with your friends. Uh, you and your girls or guys could go out together, you know, all kinds of stuff. It's different things you can do for Valentine's Day. You don't have to subject yourself to somebody who is there just to lie to you and manipulate you and hurt you, you know, and get you, you know, argue with you, make you feel bad about yourself. When you confront them about what it is you find out, you know, they're going to argue with you. They're going to, they're going to deny it. They're, they won't they will never admit that they're wrong it's just very manip this is a very manipulative person and the best thing you do is you see this ten of swords as completion that it's over with you're done with it uh, don't see it as feeling betrayed okay uh, because that intuition that you have is something uh, that we all have within us and it's really it's always really good to listen to that okay Aries I wish it was better but now at least you're prepared and that is your reading for mid-month February 2020 all right guys love you bye-bye